Hi everybody, so I live in Canterbury, it's an incredibly historic city. People have lived here since the first century AD and in 597 the cathedral was first founded. It was a site of pilgrimage, think of Thomas a Becket, and all of those pilgrims, well they needed somewhere to stay, somewhere to eat and somewhere to do other things. And these are the original buildings where the pilgrims would stay, hundreds to a room, and in the evening of course they'd go out looking for taverns, but it was a religious city. So what they needed was signs, like these. These gargoyles are actually an advertisement. What they said was, here is a brothel. Of course a cool bit of medieval art like that is just going to get lost, and it struck me that this was an ideal target for a bit of scanning. So. Let's scan those gargoyles in. Okay, put it into the computer, and this is the first one. And if you notice, actually, it's a frowning face, and there were two of them. There was one with happy and one with sad. And of course, it's outside a place of entertainment, so these are very much traditional ideas. Now, these are called grotesques, not gargoyles. A gargoyle has a spout coming out of its mouth, and a grotesque is a devil decoration like this. Now, when we scan that, of course, there are holes in it, and we need to look for where those holes are. And if we spin it around, this is where I couldn't actually get to because it was just too high. And we've got these two massive holes in the top there. If we click fill holes, apply the curved plane to it, then it will fill those holes for us. So fill holes, detect, it'll find them, click them and apply. And it would fill that hole for me. And we can go around doing that with all the holes that we see. And that will repair the model. Then when we've done that, we can export it, and then we can move on to the next one. I want to point something out to you. It's here in the Start Apps on Windows 11. It comes with all Windows 11 and it's 3D Builder. It's not the greatest of programs, however, it does allow you to manipulate STL files into a format where we'd be able to get them to, well, do something. If we open that grotesque that we were working on, then what we'll get is the grotesque file. Notice, if the object is invalid, it will actually repair the file to make it a valid file. If we have a look at this, then it's off-center. It's obviously skewed that way, it's skewed that way, and it's probably, yep, skewed that way too. So we want to make it square, because what we actually want is this section out of it. We don't want the wall section that we took, we just want this corbel section here. So to get that out, what we really need to do is, uh, well, straighten the whole thing up a bit and chop some bits off. So let's put a cube on there. If we look at that cube, then we can actually stretch the cube by clicking on there, holding that white, and then stretching it. And it will stretch uniformly. We can stretch up, or we can stretch out, and we can create a wall that we can put here so that we can measure it against when we rotate this. So let's stick that there. Then click on this one, unclick on that one. There we go, and we're now on this. Now we can rotate it. We can rotate it in those arrows here. So we can rotate that, that, and that, or the roll, pitch, and yaw. So if we take that one and rotate it, then clearly what we're doing is squaring it up. And you'll see that the roll here is changing its angle. So we can square that until we think we've got it square. Now, of course, what we can do is click on that one, unclick that one, and we can move that down to make sure that we're actually getting it square. And you can see it's a little bit off there. So if we change that roll again, That looks pretty neat to me. And then we can do the pitch and the yaw in exactly the same way. Once we're relatively happy with that, then we can select the green box and get rid of it. And what we can do is something called split. So if we do a split on it, then we can raise and lower that by dragging it until we get the section that we actually want, which is going to be there. 
and then we can split it and we keep the top bit. Equally, we can do exactly the same thing, but this time we rotate the split 90 degrees. And we can pull that split along until we get the bit that we actually want, which is about... Yeah, quite like that. Do another split, and this time we do it at 45 degrees. And we'll get rid of that bit there. And we'll sink it to the bottom, and there it is. That has extracted that first grotesque. Now what we can do is export it. Save as. And we'll save that in STL format. There we go. Now we need to do exactly the same with the other one. Okay, so I've opened up my chidi slicer because we're going to pr print it on that one and that's obviously Prussia. So we can get that file in and I've done nothing else to it apart from what we just looked at. So we open that and you can see it's far too big, but we can scale it by clicking that, grabbing one of the white ones and bringing it down in scale, let's say 20. There we go. And that will drop it onto the bed. So if you zoom in on that, <laughs> we have our grotesque. That's very cool. Let's bring in the other one. And there they are. Okay, I've put supports everywhere because I'm not sure what's going to need support or not. We've got a 15% fill, and I've put a brim on it, so let's slice it. And we're ready. It's going to take 6 hours 40 minutes to print, it's going to use uh, 220 grams of filament and we can save that to our disc. And there they are, all finished and printed off. Now I've obviously shrunk these down and we did that in the video, but the original files I've kept at the same size and I've just put those onto Thingiverse, so if you want to, then you can download these and do whatever you want with them. Something about this size, well if you happen to be into Gothic then they'd make an Awesome shelf bracket, wouldn't they? Or maybe even something like a bookend. Anyway, whatever you wanted to do with them, I think they're pretty awesome things. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.